Hey dolls! So today I have a collective anime figure nerd haul for January and February. A lot of release dates seem to fall in the first couple of months of this year, so I thought I'd put everything in a video together for you since a lot of people like watching these types of videos. So without further ado, let's get started! The first item I have is from Big in Japan. It is a Nendoroid and she came out in January. And it is Anna from Frozen, of course. I already have Elsa from the first release, and I do plan on doing a joint review of the two of them, so stay tuned for that. But I will admit that you are definitely paying a lot for the Disney license, because she does not come with, like, anything at all. I also recently picked up these little Kirby figures. They are super cute. You're supposed to be able to stack them. There are 10 Kirbys in the box, but I'm gonna be totally honest, it's kind of impossible to do any of these formations. I haven't successfully done any of them except for this first one. But they are super adorable and I didn't buy them for the stacking feature, I bought them for the cuteness factor. I also got a couple of pre-owned Nendoroids. The first one I have here is Renge from the Slice of Life anime Non Non Biori. She actually has a re-release that comes out in about a week, I think. But I found her for a really good price from a user on MFC and I was impatient, so I just bought her. And I don't regret it because she's super adorable and I really, really love her. Now the other pre-owned item I have has kind of a story to it. I got the dual set of Sayaka and Kyoko from Madoka Magica in their casual clothes, but I bought this at the, the first week of January and they came like two days ago. And when the post lady came to deliver them, she had a big plastic sack. And I was like, what is this? And she proceeds to say, it looks like this one fell into the ocean. And of course, my heart was like, what? This box, I will try to insert a picture of it somewhere, but it was so soggy, I could peel it back like fabric from the figure. But surprisingly, the bubble wrap that the figures were wrapped in protected them. The box is pretty dented up, honestly, but it's not water damaged and the figures inside are totally fine, so I am glad about that. And I am super, super happy to have them. I've wanted them for so long, basically since they were announced, because this is my OTP. I love them so much. I also got, she's not in her box, I already packed her box away because I already filmed and uploaded a review, so you've seen her already. But I needed to still include her in my haul because I did get her in January, and it is Cowdy from Your Lie in April, and I adore this figure so much. She's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. So if you want to see more of her, go check out my review. The link will be in the description box. Now finally we have my February Ami Ami order. I'm going to be honest with you, none of the items in this box really came out in February. I had one February item that was holding up everything else, and of course, as karma would have it, that item got delayed till March. So I had to wait all of February to get these items because that one item, they just they wouldn't announce the delay. They didn't announce the delay until the 24th of February. Ugh. So, moving on, I finally have these items and we're gonna open up this box. So there are four items in this box and they're packed really tight. I can't get it out. Oh, got it. Okay. So the first item I got is something a lot of people have, and it is this Rilakkuma Remant Kotatsu. I just think it's gonna be so cute for my Nendoroids, and I really recently have been wanting to get into Nendoroid photography, and I think this will be a cute little prop for my Nendos. 
Next we have the Hanayo training outfit Nendoroid. I do obviously have Rin on the way, but she is not in my Ami Ami order. I actually ordered her from Tokyo Taku Mode, but I do have Hanayo now. When Rin does get here, I'm going to do a joint review of the two of them. Then, at long last, I have the Umaru Nendoroid. Everybody and their brother has this Nendoroid, so I will not be doing a review on her because there are five bajillion out there. But I have been wanting this Nendoroid since her first release. I missed the first release and obviously nabbed up the second release, but then she was held up by my February item that got delayed. Ugh. And now, finally, after months of wanting her, I have her and I am very happy about it. The last item in here is this minifigure set. It is the Petit Chas, Petit Caras, Petit Caras? I don't really know how to pronounce it, but the little chibi Sailor Moon figures from Mega House. And this is the ice cream party version. I bought a full set. I'm actually only gonna keep half of them though. The other half are for a friend as a surprise. So these look super cute. I will hopefully be posting pictures of them to my Instagram. So if you want to follow me there, at Bondradoll, Bondra underscore doll, you know, just a little plug there, you can see pictures of these. And that was the last item in my Ami Ami box, which brings us to a conclusion for my January and February collective anime figure haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything, and will stay tuned for more videos and reviews. Until next time, stay glamorous and stay geeky. Bye!